What is up, guys? It is Bosnian Cheese back at you with another uh, Assassin's Creed Unity. Yes, that is what we're playing. And um, yeah, here we are, the same screen we left off at because this is five minutes after I recorded the last video or the first video. Um, all I did was go to the bathroom and then drink a cup of water out on my balcony because that sounded nice. So here I am. And um, yeah, if you don't remember, we just got away from those guys. You remember I gambled away my pocket watch and then. You know, had to run away from those guys. So here we are. And actually, I wanna, I wanna hop back. Never mind. I was gonna hop back into the database and see that guy that extended his hand out to me. You know, when uh, my dad died in the beginning. That guy. I wanna know who he is, but I feel like it's gonna explain later. So there's no point in uh, going back to that. I kind of like this. There's all these little alleyways. I don't know if this is actually in France, but it's just like a little thing. It's even got doors. Like. I don't know. It just seems like more public space. Unless this isn't a public space right here and I'm trespassing, but who knows? It looks pretty public to me. No? Kind of doesn't now, you know, who just has all this in public. But, you know, it is France. They're quite a strange people. Alright. Boom. We are here. And where in God's name have you been? Ha! Huh. Got you now, you little shit! Just a little misunderstanding, nothing to... Your master's arboring a common criminal. In broad daylight, he broke into my home and stole my watch. Did he indeed? Well, I'm sure the Marshalsea would be more than willing to sort this out. Sort what out, Olivier? Uh, a most serious accusation against your ward, sir. He robbed me. <laughs> of what, precisely? Wait for me in my library. Don't give me that look. Victor cheats when he plays Pharaoh. Everyone knows it. Arno? Who are you talking to? No one, monsieur. You'll be happy to learn I persuaded Olivier to leave off calling the Marshalsea. Again. Je vous remercie, monsieur. What is this? The sixth time? The seventh? Perhaps a new hobby might be better for your health. Well, I find playing cards affords many opportunities for fresh air and exercise. <laughs> we'll talk about this later. I have business in town and must collect Elise before I can attend to it. Elise is here? Only for the night. She returns to Paris first thing tomorrow. She'll need an escort, won't she, with you so preoccupied? One of you running amok is quite enough. Remain here and see if Olivier has any chores for you. I'm sure he does. What was that? Give my regards to Elise. Right, so from what we can uh, look around and ascertain, I'm probably not using that word correctly, but um, <laughs> well, what I mean is like use our intuition to discover about, um, what's, what's this guy's name, Arno's life, is that we come from a very wealthy family, or at least the guy that took me in is wealthy, because, you know, dad's dead, mom's somewhere, from what we read in the bio. I don't know what mom's doing, but wealthy family, we got servants, we got the money to um, persuade people to not get us in trouble. And uh, if you ever want to not get in trouble for something, just have a lot of money. It works all the time. Alright, let's go ahead. And... Yeah, an urgent message has arrived for an absent M. de la Serre. Track him down and deliver it. Post haste. Just do it. thrown out onto the street yet oh you would love that wouldn't you it'd break my heart olivier if i weren't here who'd do all your work for you the horses need brushing boy get to it certainement monsieur De la serre. Wait! Nom de Dieu. Nom de Dieu. Nom de Dieu. Some trouble, mon ami. A letter. 
for Sire de la Serre. It's very important. Oh, calm yourself, Perrault. That letter won't reach Monsieur de la Serre any faster if you drop dead of exhaustion. Give it here. I'll catch you. You must receive it today. It's very... Very important. Yes, I heard you the first time. I'll see that he gets it. <laughs> it's pretty Monsieur much saying, move out Stop. the way, chubby boy. Oh, lift. Make oh, way, okay. make way. So it looks like I'm going to have to hold B to jump over things, A to climb up things. Or like, yeah, I think that's... That's the way to do it. If I need to go through something, hold B. If I need to get over something, hold A. That seems to be uh, the distinction. All right, and that's that's not the way it was in other Assassin's Creed games. Pretty sure it just used to be hold right trigger, and then you know, you can run over everything. And then it used to be hold right trigger to go straight, and then right trigger plus A to go up. Oh shit! I think I was supposed to stay on the rooftops. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. Free run up, free run down. You can see it in the top right. Here. Oh, we are here. Please excuse. Wrong carriage. What I need is a bird's eye view. Wrong carriage. <laughs> that's, that's, how was that the wrong carriage? I swear I was following him so closely that entire time. Les Miserables. Let me do this. Uh... Oh, okay. I don't, I don't think that's anything for us to know. I remember reading that before. I think it was pretty much just saying uh, the movie Les Miserables, or the play or whatever, is a different French Revolution than the one we are going to be experiencing. So, let's... uh. Ooh. You know, this is like the lot taller when I was farther away. This is like, this is like jump off and maybe survive height, you know? Okay, never mind. <laughs> never mind. This is like a definitely die, right? Okay, you could survive this with like a miracle. But you hop on top here, that's a uh, most definitely die. Alright, yeah, it's showing me here. Climb, climb. What, climbing? No way these buildings are this easy to climb. Is the architecture? Yeah, this is, this is a for sure death. But, alright. Let's do the old classic synchronize. Architecture in this game is gorgeous. Wow. There you are. Okay. There you are. Oh. It says forward right bumper, but. Oh, right here. Beautiful. All right, now yeah, let's descend this building. Okay, I kind I kind of like this mechanic. It makes it super easy to descend. All right, that's nice. Um, use eagle vision. Locate the guards around me. I'm warning you, citizen. <laughs> yeah, cause no way they'd notice this. All right, Hotel de Menus Plaisir. I don't know, I even know how to say that. I want to read all these things, but it would be... I just don't know if you guys would be into it, so... Alright. Find the lower... Boy, good! Um... Let's see. I think if we... Wait for this guy to pass. I'm gonna move this way. Just go ahead and blend in. Blend in, blend in, blend in, blend in. Oh yeah, they have no idea. <laughs> Suckers. Alright, let's get into another thick crowd. I don't see why I'm not allowed to be here when all these funny dressed people are. Okay. Let's see. 
Keep moving this way. Maybe. You wanna fight me? What are you doing? Uh oh. What was that? Stay away. I don't know who's up. Uh oh. He is close. He is close. I'm not comfortable with that at all. Oh god. Oh god. Join these guys. Oh god. Yeah, real casual. Real casual. Like, alright. I think we gotta get out of here. These guys are way too close for comfort. E yes. We are in. Okay, I'm definitely not allowed to be here, so I think if I get seen, wait, I think I saw gold. Trigger that eagle vision. Where's my eagle vision? Saw blue. Oh, I see some gold. I see some gold. Oh, are those guys guards right there? They look like guards, but they're not glowing, so. Everyone's kind of dressed like guards. All right. Interact. Nice. Yeah, we needed a cutscene for that. All right. Let's keep moving. We are in the third estate. If the first estate was the church and the second estate was nobility, the third estate was everyone else. The beggars, peasants, the bourgeoisie, notaries, doctors, lawyers, artisans, bankers, and even scholars who at the time represented approximately 96% of the population. I don't think that means 96% of the population was scholars. If it did, this would be one terrifically nerdy time period. I dare say you and I would have fit in rather well. In a pamphlet entitled, What is the Third Estate? Established or published in 1789, Sayez wrote... What is a third estate? Everything. What has it been until now in the political order? Nothing. What does it ask? To become something. Nothing to be done without it. Everything will be infinitely better without the other two orders. Yeah, I kind of kind of agree with that. I mean, the third estate is everyone, and then the other two estates are the corrupt dicks at the top, making things worse for everyone. All right. Find De La Serre. Gotta deliver him this letter. Like, we couldn't have just given the letter to one of the guards and been like, hey, could you walk this in for me? I mean, yeah, they maybe would have said no, but, like, that's the worst they could say. Hang on, what's going on in here? What is even happening in here? Alright, 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 alright. Let me, uh... Still gotta find these guys. Um. Oh, I should not be down here. Looks like I should be in the crowd, but I kind of want to. Uh, can I even get through? This crowd. It's a little dense. Not these two again. Must have tailed me from the estate. Une inquiétude générale. Un désir exagéré. How did they get in when it took me like this much work? Alright, go backstage. God damn, dense crowd. Alright. Eh. Alright. King Louis the sixteenth. We gotta read up on this dude. Louis was never meant to become king, but his father died in 1765, followed by his two older brothers. When his grandfather, Louis XV, died in 1774, he came to a throne for which he was ill-prepared. Louis and his wife would fail to provide France with an heir for seven years to the derision of the French people. Even the celebrations of their wedding day would end in tragedy, with the death of 100 Parisians following a stampede at a fireworks display. An indecisive man, in the words of one deputy, the king spent his whole life saying each evening that he was mistaken that same morning. <laughs> As his younger brother, future Charles X, would say, not with that irony, trying to get Louis to hold to a position was like trying to hold greased billiard balls together. Billiard being pool, that took me a while to uh, figure it out. Alright, amazing that phrase never caught on, really. But then trying to catch a phrase, get a phrase to catch on is like oiling a hammer and expecting the cat to marry it. <laughs> you can use that one if you like. His 19-year reign would become increasingly agitated since the court was incapable of reform. Louis XV had merely covered up the nation's problems without actually resolving anything. His heir wished to be called Louis the Severe to contrast with the permissiveness and debauchery of his grandfather. But as far as the public 
public opinion was concerned, he would be Louis the Week. Never mind Louis the Week. There were so many men called Louis around you, you could have you could have had a Louis of the Week. <laughs> That's dumb. What decision she actually managed to make turned against him. The war with England to support Franklin and Washington would ruin the kingdom, and by 1789, debt-ridden France had reached a state of virtual bankruptcy. This situation was exasperated by the trade treaty with London. The British, who were way ahead of the French technologically, inundated France with their industrial products, spelling ruin for French artisans. Some of these products would even be used in the revolutionary riots. While food shortages were due to, uh, due to bad crops and weather, those who were hungry blamed them on the rich. Meanwhile, pampered in pension in Versailles, far away from their roots, the nobility had become another adversary that would further undermine the system. The same went for the lower orders of the clergy, who shared the general misery of their flock. The king didn't see it coming. The nobles would bring about a revolution to which they too would fall victim. In summer of 1791, with the revolution heating up, Louis approved the perilous plan to secretly flee from Paris to the supposedly loyal troops in the east. The royal family's arrest at Varennes, Varennes, I don't know how to say that, would spell the end of absolute monarchy. On August 10th, when the grounds of the Tuileries were invaded, Louis took refuge in the National Assembly, but the damage was done. Shortly thereafter, he was stripped of his power, arrested, and sent to the med medieval fortress of the temple, and from there to his doom. His trial was brief, and ultimately only for show. Witnesses who testified in his favor were massacred in two instances, while the documents that could have proved him innocent were not passed on to his defenders. In short, it was a travesty. The judges had all but decided on the verdict from the onset. The absolute monarch, who didn't even reign over his court, was influenced by all those who surrounded him. What should I do? He asked the rev reactionary French writer Rivarol in September 1789. Act like a king, came the reply. If only Louis had... Louis, who had a passion for geography and great exploration, and whose hobbies were locksmithing and carpentry, was simply not cut out for the job. Um, in my experience, you should never trust a man who lists his hobbies as, as locksmithing. That's pretty good. All right, so I decided that I'm going to read it when I feel like reading it. So that is the decision made there. All right, now let's go backstage. And, um, but yeah, I'm going to read those when I feel like reading them. And if I feel like... And I'm only going to read them if I feel like maybe they contribute to the story or like I feel like I need to know them or, you know, even if I want to know them. So, you know, it's my walk, dude. <laughs> so, who or what will take its place? Another king? A council of capable men? That is the question, isn't it? A truce, then. What the devil was that about? Now, now. We can resolve this without recourse to violence, can't we? Get him, Hugo! I suppose not. Get him! Alright, we are back, guys. Sorry about that. Let's just go ahead and hop back in and boom. Uh oh, Perry. Uh oh. He's coming at me with swords. That's kind of a little harsh, don't you think? Ooh. 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 Oh, let's attack him in there. Oh, Easy, he's big down. Fella. Oh, new contender. All right, what you got for me? Ah, uh -uh, see, I learned how to dodge. <laughs> All right, yeah, I see those dodges. Yeah, okay, so when it's that square above him, that red square, that's when the dodging needs to happen. Oh, okay. And we got two of them. Wait, you think I don't, you don't think I can take on both of you guys? Come on now. Not your day. Is it, Victor? Open up in there. To your health, gentlemen. You, boy, stop! What are you doing there? Uh, running. <laughs> uh, guards in blue are the police. If you attack or kill anyone in their sight, they will attack us. I didn't attack or kill anyone. Oh, I guess I did attack those guys. Well, they attacked me. That was self-defense. Oh, my God. They are shooting at me. How could they shoot a gun in a crowd like this? Oh my god, how are they even hitting? Okay, we gotta go quick. We gotta become anonymous. No such thing as a real name. Oh god, I'm oh, that was one of them. I was looking for one of those little alleyways. I couldn't tell it was one of them until, until it was too late. All right. Act cool, guys, act cool. 
Yeah. <laughs> this is like what people actually act cool like in real life, you know? Back it's not good. They just kind of look around. Catch them back at home, I suppose. No getting back in there. Haha. <laughs> no getting back in there now. All right. Let's go ahead and... Close, hold R2 to sprint and automatically jump. Right, hold R2 to jump higher and farther. Ah, I see. Okay, that makes sense. So right trigger if you're just trying to go straight. Right trigger plus A if you're trying to go up. Right trigger and B if you're trying to go down. Or over. Uh, I guess that is under. You just got to know what you can slide over and under. Alright, but I think it's... I think if you're on the ground trying to jump over things, it's B. It's that's pretty much like what you want to do. So you can jump over this. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry, I'm a fucking mess. And um, <laughs> I didn't even want to say this to you guys um before, you know, or I didn't want to say it too early because <laughs> it might ruin the game for you. It's not gonna ruin the game, but it's just um. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how to say this, but all the characters in here, like the main characters, they talk with British accents, and we're in France. And you will you will notice that. Oh, who is trying to kill me? Who is that? I don't know, but he doesn't like me. But yeah, they, they all talk with British accents, and we're in France. And I didn't even notice that until another YouTube video I saw pointed it out for me, so I'm just spreading, you know. The good joy of a lazy ass Ubisoft. So, um. <laughs> it looks like we are pretty close. Let's go and hop in here. What do you got for me? Oh, not too close yet. We're on that maybe private property. Oh, don't need to go through there. Just gotta. Yep, this is what I want. <sighs> through here. Over like they taught us. Boom. Hmm, what do we got here? High Society, Memory 3. Well, let me check how much time we got left real quick. Yeah, you know what? It's been uh, 23 minutes. I think that's a good amount of time for uh, a video. <laughs> we might have to go you know, longer on some because there's going to be some long uh, memory sequences. So, But for now, you know, we'll start off with the 23-minute video for the second episode. What's wrong with that? Um, I don't want to say a little bit. Uh, you know, I was trashing on Ubisoft, but I love the architecture and the world building in this game. I gotta give props to, you know, Ubisoft and whoever did that here, because it's just incredible. And the amount of characters here that, um, I don't know, it just feels so lively. That's that's every Assassin's Creed game, you know? It feels so lively, but I think they really did a great job with this one. So, that's how I wanted to end the video. You know, just a little thought for you. And, um, thank you guys for watching, and I will... I'll be recording the next one after this, so I will see you guys in a couple minutes. Bye.